Well, well, everyone, what's up? As you see, got my Knights football, UCF Knights. Still got my Dallas Cowboy love, guys. A rough Thanksgiving yesterday. What's up, everybody out there? Going to do a quick breaking news on some very important players. But yes, I see somebody out here from some people from the Tampa Bay area. Guys, I'm a UCF Knight. That's where I graduated. That's my, I'm an alumni from there. I'm a UCF grad. Big game is going on right now. UCF is winning 14-7 against my brother's you know, team, his college, the one he graduated from, USF. So guys, go UCF Knights. They're winning 14-7 right now. Stay with that undefeated record, UCF. And guys, there might be a special video with myself, my mother, my family watching some of this game. So watch for that later tonight, some kind of compilation. It might even be a reaction video if the game is close. So go UCF. Now, guys, Zach Martin. Okay, let me update you guys. We know about the bad news with the Cowboys yesterday. Let's, we, look, the season's probably over. There's a 7% chance to get into the playoffs, guys. 7%. <laughs> Do you know how low that is? We're not making the playoffs, guys, but Jerry Jones thinks differently. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, guys. I want to make a mention about Zach Martin, guys. Zach Martin, concussion. Not really much information coming out on that. They're saying that Jason Garrett, during his, in his press conference, said that he's back. But they don't really know how good he's going to basically be able to handle coming back. We don't know his, his time frame yet. Timetable on injury for Zach Martin. But it's official. It's a concussion. And it's frustrating, guys. So we don't know what's going on. Go Cowboys still, even when, when it's not looking good. Make sure you guys hit that, that like button and uh, subscribe if you're new. Well, basically at 900, guys, 100 to go. Um, another, another update, guys. Sean Lee making progress, which is good news. He has good days and bad days. They're saying, Garrett's saying that they're, he's making progress. Really no sign, on, except that he's saying that they're coaching to get ready for the Redskins game. Another unfortunate bunch of news when we talk about our coaches, whether it's head coach, or, you know, defensive coach or offensive coach. <sighs> he was asked a lot about this, but Jason Garrett said that he has great confidence in Scott Lenahan. Not, not what you want to hear when you're a Cowboy fan. So, uh... Dak, very frustrated in his post-game uh, comments and stuff. Just never been this frustrated in his entire career. Got to get Those coaches got to get better, and Dak's got to get better, guys. Dak is having a, a – I think he has five interceptions in the last three games. He had, he, had, he had four interceptions in his first eight games. He's got to get better, guys. Um, Jerry Jones, disappointed in the loss, in the way they played, even in the way they coached probably, but he won't admit it publicly – what he did say was he's disappointed, but he, he says no changes are going to be made in the coaching staff. He said that Garrett was coach of the year last year, so you just can't just forget about that. Yes, you can when it was because of Zeke and Dak and the offensive line. And uh, disappointed, but he likes the Cowboys coaches. That's basically what Jerry Jones said. I'm, I'm disappointed in that. He did say that Dak is still the Cowboys' future. There's no doubt in that. And I agree with that, obviously. But, uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly what you guys are saying out there. Again, this is a, this is a break. This is a go live, so I really can't answer some of your questions. Not on the screen for everybody. But, yeah. Basically, yeah, it's just like everything that Zach and, and, and Dak, that Zeke and Dak did for, for Garrett. And every year he's got lucky with Romo and Murray. He just did enough to put it together. The ability and the talent of the players is why I think he got coach of the year. So don't read too much in Coach of the Year, but unfortunately, it gives, Jerry, it gives Jerry Jones the excuse to keep him on board. Guys, I want to break down a couple of things. As I talked about already, Zach Martin concussion. We don't know how it's, how it's going to happen. He said he looked better today, but we don't know about anything else about his return. And Sean Lee, slowly but surely making progress. Any other updates that come out, we'll talk about it tonight in our live discussion. It'll be a late one. It won't be a breaking news one. That's why I'm doing this. So it won't be like a news recap. It'll just be our discussion combo kind of thing tonight, guys. So make sure you stay on tuned for that. Probably sometime this evening. So like 9, 10, 11 Eastern time. So, you know. And also, guys, I hope you all enjoy your Thanksgiving weekend. We are. Uh, we went to see Wonder, the movie Wonder. Very great, great movie. I, I advise anybody that, want, that, that wants to see a good movie, a family movie, go see that. It's good for adults and children. My daughter read that book two years ago, last year. So she really was looking forward to this. And it was really, really good. Surprisingly good for even me, who usually is not into the kind of movies. Um, but let me go just real quick. The Charger game yesterday, guys. You know the Charger in the second half. The second half, the Chargers scored at every possession in the third and fourth quarter with a touchdown. Except for one. It was a 51-yard drive. 
It was right at the end of the game. It was after they got their last first down and goal, and they took a knee. They could have scored a touchdown. So they scored in every possession in the second half. They scored, not scored, they scored a touchdown on every possession in the second half, except for the last one, which went 51 yards and ended with Phillip Rivers kneeling a couple times to end the game. Embarrassing, guys. Embarrassing. No question. Cowboys, they started with the ball 10 out of 11 times this year, guys. Started the game. I hate the Jason Garrett idiotic get the ball first, impose our will, because we haven't been imposing anything on anyone. So it's just backfiring him. And to add to it, let's tell you this. Cowboys got the ball 10 out of 11 games to start the game. All right? Second half, opponents, 7 out of the 10 times that they, you know, because we got it only once in the second half. The other 10 times, the other team got it. They scored seven, seven out of the 10 teams scored immediately on their first possession in the second half, guys, in the third quarter, the first possession in the third quarter. That means they scored either a touchdown or a field goal. Seven out of 10. It's just a huge, you can see where we're losing these games, second half adjustments, first half you know, decisions. They're all biting us in the butt, and it's the coaching staff mainly. Players are not playing like the way they should be. But it's, it's a shame to see people, yes, like Gathers, Awuzie being wasted away. I didn't see Awuzie in the game, Harley, except on special teams. I don't know what the Cowboys staff is doing. Obviously, Jerry Jones doesn't care. It's a very frustrating, frustrating thing. Guys, one last thing I want to say about the Cowboys and Zeke, how important he is. But even with that, I think it's the offensive line that's really hurting us with the mix and matches that we have with Dak. It's not really his fault completely, but some things are his fault. But let's talk about Zeke for just one second. He's missed the last three games. All right, guys, we've played 11. He's been an eight. And out of those eight games, even though he's only played eight games, he's only 103 yards behind the NFL rushing leader. He would have been the rushing leader again this year. That's basically what I'm saying, guys, even with all the problems we had. And on top of that, he's also one touchdown behind the rushing touchdown leader. He's got seven. The rushing leader has eight. And he's 103 yards behind the NFL rushing leader. It's a, wasted, it's a wasted season, guys. A wasted time for, for, for Zeke. That's, that's the Goodell issue. We can't help that. But unfortunately, we can't help it that we having some real bad games. Dak's really off. The offensive line's been mixed and matched the whole year. It's not really had a chance to truly gel. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of season you get. A below average season. And expect that, guys. We're 5-6. and six. That's what We are 5-6. and six. That's who we're supposed to be. So anyways, guys, as of right now, there's a 7% chance to make the playoffs. So take it as you may. I'm going to go watch, go back and watch the UCF, my UCF Knights battle the USF Bulls in the war on I-4, guys. This is for the championship in the American Conference. I'm usually not into college football, but, you know, they've been disappointing me this year. We'll always have that, man. It's always right here, guys, on my heart. But you got to show me more, Jerry Jones. You gotta, if you ever want me to buy anything from your team again... And I'll have Cowboy stuff forever and always be a Cowboy fan, but I'll never be a Jerry Jones fan and buying your stuff, putting our heart and soul in this stuff so you can continue to put that garbage on the field, especially with the coaches. So, guys, improve your stuff in, in Big D. Get better. Do whatever it takes, but it's about winning first. That's what it should be. When you get winning and you win, you'll get your money, Jerry Jones. But until then, you ain't getting it from me. On that note, guys, enjoy. We'll have some reaction video probably for this UCF game. It was 14-7 when I left it. It's going to be an exciting ending, I think. So go Knights. Always go Cowboys. And guys, listen. Hey, make sure you join us tonight with myself and fiance. We're going to do a live stream discussion about yesterday's disaster. Basically what ended our season. And guys, if you haven't yet, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit the subscription uh, button as well if you're new and have not subscribed. We're almost at 1,000. Super chat. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get these and our other live stream discussions news breaking things, Madden streams, whatever it may be, guys. Until then, take care. I hope you continue to enjoy somehow, even with, with the performance yesterday from them. Hopefully you enjoy your Thanksgiving weekend with your friends, family, and loved ones. And I'm going to watch this right now. Go Knights. But more importantly, guys, more importantly, forever. Go Cowboys! Forever, guys. Go Cowboys.